there light warriors today's session is a fantastic conversation with isis uh, we hear her being chased by a, a cyborg uh, who is trying to uh, even way back in time trying to stop the ascension knowing that this was always going to happen uh, we're taken to amenti and see the blue flame of amenti uh, and hear the incredible cheers, the incredible cheers of elation, knowing that all our work has come to fruition. Incredible, incredible. Let's go time traveling. Hi there, hi there, light workers. How are you coping on this crazy planet at this time? How are you coping? This week, the energies have been absolutely in incredible. In fact, for the last probably week and a half, two week, I've I've just been completely, not completely, intermittently um, dizzy in a, the most bizarre way. The most bizarre way. So rather than being dizzy in your head wanting to and feel sick it's just been almost like somebody's grabbing me and spinning me just for for a few seconds enough that I have to ground very very quickly so grounding for me has been really really important um this week absolutely loving autumn my favorite time of the year of course being the Libran uh it's going to be and it's my very happy birthday tomorrow so we're going out pumpkin picking um but i want to tell you about a place i went to uh yesterday in broxtow so it's sort of um, a huge park uh, that's run by the local council i believe out there it's a huge park with um an incredible monolith a huge druid stone there with the most incredible energy and i went there with my daughter and and a friend and it was we walked around and and it was it was 5D. It was incredible. The colours were vibrant. Um, everybody was just at ease. There was not a single molecule of fear. Not a single. There's no masks. <laughs> not a single molecule of of fear. We were we were outdoors. No masks required. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> but it was brilliant absolutely brilliant and you know we we have to remember that when this absolute pantomime that the dark is putting on as a show at the moment when this pantomime's on we have to remember that we still have everything around us you know if if you've got a um, woodland or countryside around you go out into get out into nature if you have a park go there connect with with those beautiful energies if you have a garden get out into the garden if you haven't use your imagination you can do this you can do this you know they can they can put these uh words these images out into in out into the um either out in, into the collective consciousness but we don't have to choose to be affected by it An incredible day yesterday but so excited for tomorrow pumpkin picking cannot wait for that cannot wait but let me get on with this session so uh, i've had this session um probably about uh, a month or so now uh, but just given for being given permission to uh, to disclose it and and to give that information out there uh, so really excited for this got myself a new mic as well so i, I hope the quality um is is really good um, still getting used to the techie stuff um what is it a blue yeti seems to pick up on, on everything around um, I don't know if that's a good thing or, or a bad thing, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I'll start reading for you now. So in this memory, are you inside or outside? Oh, let me just mention, this is an introspective hypnosis session. Um, so very similar, uh, very similar um, to QHHT, um, but uh, we, we very much focus on uh, healing of the soul um, when we do these sessions. Uh, is this memory inside or outside? Outside. Is there anybody with you? Mm. I can see, it's like desert sand on the floor and I can see people in front of me and they're, they aren't bowing down, they're cowering. They're cowering down, I'm having them whipped. What's your name in that life? Isis, Isis. How old are you in that memory? 
150. What do those people, what did they do? What happened? Why are you having them whipped? They betrayed me. They betrayed you? How did they betray you? They speak against me. They speak out against me. I'm not bad. How does that betrayal make you feel? How does it make your body feel? It's hurtful. It's not me. How does it make you feel physically, this betrayal? I can't. I feel like I, I can't tell the truth. I can't speak out fully. So how does that make you feel emotionally? I feel hurt. I feel so hurt. And when you feel your body and you can't even speak, what thoughts come into your mind? How does it make you feel mentally? I want to get away. And when you feel you cannot speak and you feel hurt and you want to get away, how does this affect your current life? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. It prevents me from speaking my truth, from giving people information. She clams up. She doesn't want people to think she's wrong. She knows that the information is right, but she doesn't want people to think wrong of her. Isis, what's happening next? Go to another important event in the life of Isis. What's happening? There's a ship above the pyramid. It's grey. It's sphere. It has symbols on, symbols on it, a series of lines. Who made those lines, Isis? We did. If you did those lines, you're able to read them. Connect to your memory. What is that message? These symbols offer the technology for the space travel. It takes us back home. The technology has frequency. The series of lines and the way that they are structured, these are frequencies. The symbols are on the ships. They're also on the pyramids. You mentioned to take us back home. What do you mean? Sirius. We travelled from Sirius to Earth. And how do you call those beings who travel from Sirius to Earth? How do you call them in? We use telepathy. Some travel using their own systems. The macabre. So many don't know. So many don't understand. It's so infuriating. So many are still to awaken. So many need this knowledge. So many just do not have the capacity to understand that this is even possible. And can humanity understand the symbols on the pyramids? It is a key. They do not need to understand. Their soul will automatically know what it means and that will activate the DNA code within them. When this code activates, when people look at the key, will it help them to awaken? Yes, it will also turn on their innate powers, their innate gifts that have been stripped. They have been stripped and removed. It makes me so angry that the DNA was tampered with. Strands of DNA were removed to stop humanity from progressing, to keep them in a state of slavery. The DNA was removed and now the DNA is reactivating. It's coming back online. Who removed these strands of DNA? The Anunnaki, the reptilians. The master geneticists removed 10 strands. Your scientists, some are aware of the 10 extra strands, but will refer to this DNA as junk. It is not junk. This DNA is required for ascension. 12 strands are required. Some avatars have 24, 36, 48 strands of DNA. This DNA is reactivating through the codes through the central sun, LCO. We are here at this time activating the portals. So to assist humanity in the ascension, to remind those who they truly are. The DNA upgrade is essential. You cannot ascend without this activation. The light within is a spark. The light is within all and once it's activated, it cannot be turned off. But the activation is what is, is, is needed to awaken the individual. Many, many are aware of this light within. There are so many people not awake yet. How can we help them to heal and activate this light within. Yes, 
Each one of you are set to a key, a frequency. Even by speaking with you, your activation, your key, your code with activate will activate their DNA and activate their light within. This will trigger an awakening, an awareness that is gradual at first, but that light within will get bigger and bigger and they will seek more and more answers that will activate that awakening, that will connect them to the planetary consciousness and for some the galactic consciousness and some will get this information through dreams. Some will come across this information on your social media, but this is so tampered with that many newly awakened do not yet have the discernment to become aware of what is truth and what is being indoctrinated by the dark forces. Isis, whilst you are standing looking at the pyramids, what else do you see there? There's blue light shooting out of the top of the pyramid as I look round. And at this point, she was ice cold, ice cold. Others, what you term, <laughs> she laughed at this point, gods and goddesses. We are all people. We are all beings. We simply are more ascended. But what you term gods and goddesses are here, assisting in the awakening. I see to my left Thoth and Anubis. They're here and are working closely with others on the earth plane who assist and get this information out there for humanity. And at this point she was shivering, cold. We have such short period of time in your earth years for this ascension process, which is important that people awaken and share the information. People need to share and to be aware that they have the power within. They always, always have. We are here to empower you to assist in this huge transition in humanity. A big smile at this point from her. I am looking at the pyramids. People, I see them rising up and cheering. They are cheering for you all. They are cheering. They already see that you've done this. You've all, they already see that the hard work that has been done by those who choose to come here those who chose to incarnate at this time, it is so difficult for you to do this sometimes, so difficult. But there are thousands of them rising up and cheering for what you have done, for what you have achieved. It seems so dark for so many of you at the moment, so dark, it's almost unbearable. And I could feel it, I could feel that connection. But... This timeline that you are on, this timeline right now is the best timeline and they are all rising up and they are cheering for the incredible, incredible work you have done in achieving this and awakening humanity and allowing each and every person who has made the decision to ascend, to ascend at this time. Isis, you mentioned that people forgot about their power within. What would you tell people who just rely on medication with all the side effects and, and it doesn't actually heal them? This is part of your programming. You feel that you need pharmaceutical drugs to heal. In fact, this cannot be further from the truth. These toxins are polluting your body. They are poisoning your system. The chemicals in them are dumbing you down. They are preventing you from accessing that frequency that you need to be able to access to move forward. When you are taking uh, these, you call medications, when you are taking these, some will suppress you. All will suppress you. All will suppress you. Whether it is suppressing a physical symptom you have been given a drug for, or something to mask that symptom. It is not masking it. It is suppressing the emotion that needs to be healed. The emotion, the darker energy that you need to face. You need to deal with and bring up to the surface to be able to feel freer, to feel lighter. To manifest the reality, the beautiful energy and that which we call and you call the 5D. The higher dimensions. It is not possible to reach these high dimensions whilst you are being suppressed. It is difficult. It is much easier without being suppressed. But you 
are so poisoned with toxins in your food, but particularly in your water at this time. The water has many toxins. They are designed to keep you in a state of not caring, just not caring. The toxins, the chemical toxins are creating problems with this and are keeping people in a lower density. The hormones are creating huge problems within hormones within the body which are creating a confusion, a distraction from what is actually going on on the planet. We need to focus our energies on the ascension or raising our frequencies and not being caught up in distractions. Whether this is focusing around genders or the government uh, are putting things out into the media, people are who they are. They are divine regardless. They are divine regardless. This should not be an issue. This is not what our sh focus should be on at this time. Our focus should be on creating the re reality. We want and all of our attention and focus should solely be on that. So how can we clean the water? Our body is such a huge percentage of water. You program it. You program it. You have forgotten your power. You have forgotten your internal power. So can we use prayer? Absolutely. Yes, yes. With words, with intention, you have to know how credit incredibly powerful you are. Your governments, the deep state, the dark forces try to suppress you and add things to your water and food. Everything, everything is intention. Connect your heart and your mind. Intention is everything. Water is alive. Water is programmable. Place your hands and create a beautiful vortex of energy. The energy will simply infuse that water with the power, with love. Simply, simply hold it with gratitude and love. And this will infuse that frequency into it and remove all, regardless of toxins that have been put into there. Use your intention. <laughs> I had to laugh at that point. I wish I'd known that before I bought a £400 Berkey water filter. <laughs> However, I must say, and I will put um, in the description here, there are light codes that were channeled from Archangel, Archangel Raphael. Uh, that you these numbers light codes that you put on water so you put them on your water filter or, or on a tap or whatever and it literally cleanses them and infuses with love so really really important to do that so although I do have my Berkey I do also have these codes and I have words on there to to activate the water to to give life to it to give life to it can we do the same with food when we sit down to eat it, can we do the same with food? Because my thought with this was that that actually not everybody can afford or or can access organic food or good quality food. So so can we do the same with food? Yes, yes. A forgotten practice. Mm. Yes, yes. This should always this should have always been done. The intention, but the way that religion has controlled you. The way it's controlled, many of you now have shunned this. You've shunned it. It is a prayer and gratitude for the meal and love for that life-giving nutrients that you are able to take on board. That, that simple practice will alter the energy of the food. Just the love and the gratitude for that food. We're just bringing the energy in and infusing it with that love and that high frequency. And what can we do in order to raise our vib vibration? Besides the prayers and the meditation, what else can we do? Do everything with love. Do everything from the heart. Non-judgmental. Do not be judgmental. Everyone comes to earth with a purpose, with a divine plan. We don't need to be judgmental. This is low frequency. You feel it. You feel it. This is a reflection of yourself and shows where your own internal work needs to be done. This is a good mirror, a good mirror image to show you where your own energies uh, need work and where that work needs to be done. And so we move forward. What do you see around you? In the distance, I feel like I'm being chased. 
It feels very odd, very odd. It's it's not like in it's it's like lightning speed, like you'd see on a film where lightning speed, and and I'm just running, and there's a waterfall in the distance. There's a waterfall, and some sort of I don't know. It's not human. There's something stood there. It's not human. It feels normal though that it's there. It feels completely normal. It's like it feels like some sort of robot thing. And as I'm around on the lands, so I feel that I am stood on the land and this thing's chasing me. It's some sort of cyborg. I can see the lights flashing backwards and forwards. It's a cyborg. So what happens next? I've stopped and I turn and as I face it, my hand goes out. And as it does, the energy pushes the cyborg and it blasts back and falls off the edge of the land, falls off the edge of, of what seems to be a cliff. I'm on the edge of it now looking down and it's like a piercing blue light in the centre. I can't figure it, I can't figure out where I am. It doesn't, I'm, I'm, I don't feel that I'm on another planet. It feels that I'm inside, I'm inside somewhere, inside the earth. I'm on the edge of a cliff. To the right is the waterfall and as I look down it's crystalline, a beautiful crystalline but neon blue light shining and pulsating back at me. I feel I had, I had to do that. I feel I had to get him to follow me, to chase me, so that I could push him off the cliff. Well, not push him, but use my energy and force his energy back off the cliff into that crystalline blue that I'm looking at. I had to get him to go there for some reason. Who is this cyborg? and Why is he chasing you? What is his intention? He needed information about the blue flame. About the blue flame. But inside here, it, do, it doesn't remind me of a blue frame, flame. It's more of a crystalline with blue. It's a crystalline but blue. But he wanted information. He needed to get that information. What information? Why did he need it? To stop the ascension. And at this point, she got quite, quite angry. They were trying to stop the ascension. They needed information on the blue flame of Amenti. They needed to stop the ascension. Even then, even then they were trying to stop that. We will not let that happen. We will not let that happen. Who sent the cyborg to stop the ascension? The reptilians, but these reptilians are huge. They are many species of reptilian but on the planet. The ones that wish to stop, they are big, they are huge. They are aggressive and menacing. They control, they did control the planet. And they have been trying to stop this for hundreds of thousands of years. They knew this was coming. They knew it. They cannot stop this now. They will not stop this now. They will not the blue flame is under the pyramid with the lines. That key will activate when those who hold the key... It is. It is activated. It is already activated through the remote work. That work has been undertaken remotely by us, we incarnate. The reptilians, we hear a lot about them. Is there any intention? Is there intention to take over planet Earth? Yes. Yes, their intention is to ultimately, was to, and is to continue with the slave race, but to control, control humanity remotely. Their plan is to, by dark technology, to ultimately control you through programming, through technology, that they will guise as moving forward and masked as essential for humanity to move forward. This cannot be further from the truth. Isis, the virus we have right now, is it part of the reptilian or is it something else? This is twofold. Humanity needed to create a mass awakening on your planet and this was, yes, created by the deep state, the reptilians to control. But this has been taken hold of by the light, by the galactic beings assisting you, by the light federations. This has been used as a way to awaken humanity to the darkness on the planet. 
So the collective consciousness, the energy that was in and is in the collective consciousness was that this shift had to happen now. And as a result, this virus has been created. But the dark energies severely, severely underestimated the assistance that is given to your planet. And the amount of light workers, volunteers, those who came solely to raise the frequency, they're talking about you, they severely, severely underestimated. What is happening around you now? The pyramid, the energy surrounding the pyramid. There is a faint blue flame at the top of the pyramid, at the apex. A beautiful, beautiful, gentle, yet powerful blue flame. Everything is serene. The other gods are with me and I feel now that I'm bowing down. I'm bowing and we are moving the energy. We are moving the energy down, down, down through the centre of the pyramid. I can feel all the energies of all the gods and we are collectively moving the flame down to where it will be safe in the centre of the earth. As we do that, I feel my energy lifting. I feel my energy being pulled. And as we do that, I'm now just blue energy. I'm being pulled up. The lesson from that lifetime and all future lifetimes were essential for this current lifetime. Every single lifetime there have been essential skills learned. That was a fantastic session. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. So with all the smoke and mirrors going on now, all the smoke and mirrors and distraction, now more than ever is time to keep our focus on what we're creating in our reality, to keep our focus on that beautiful new earth, the way that we're creating it within within our collective consciousness, within that beautiful high frequency. Just focus on that now. Know that everything else is just smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. The dark forces, the deep state, severely underestimated us. Severely underestimated us. And it is done. It is done. I could feel the energy in the room. I could hear those cheers. Uh, the elation of it is done, it's complete, that the 5D, it is here, this that's happening at the moment, this that's going on, just smoke and mirrors, just, just be in joy, be in love, um, do only that that brings you joy, do that that makes, you know, that, that makes your eyes sparkle, that you feel passionate about hope you enjoyed that session have the most incredible incredible weekend it's coming up for the weekend um my birthday tomorrow so i'm going to um i'm going to be um spending that uh with my family after um pumpkin picking um and and just um doing things that i absolutely love so sending you a massive wave. In fact, I'm going to send you a tsunami of love today. <laughs> sending that energy your way. Namaste.